pass by the produce aisle and recognize some of these greens as garnishes that commonly appear on the bottom of the plate. But cookbook author Terry Walters is teaching people how to make things like collard greens and kale the main course. Everything we're going to talk about today is based on eating close to the source for maximum nutrition. And I call that eating clean. We start this tour talking about whole grains. And the Terry's been leading tours in natural food stores for nine years. She's been at Whole Foods' flagship store in West Hartford since day one. The important thing about legumes is that when you have legumes, you've got protein and fat together. And this is great energy. You can just kind of come around. This is my favorite part because it's all of our greens. And green is the color of healing. And all these dark We greens kind of joke that when the store was built, Terry was already inside. We've got these beautiful mustard greens. They bring in chlorophyll from the sun, so they're great uplifting energy. She gets very excited about showing people how easy it is, and she makes it accessible to a lot of different people. Pick one new food, go home, you can look it up on the internet, find a recipe that does something for you, and just start. Terry's journey as a cookbook author started as a holistic health counselor. Her philosophy, what you eat can help heal you. As a holistic health counselor, I was helping people to nourish themselves, whether they were doing it to lose weight, whether they were doing it just to feel better or to help, you know, to feed their children. We're going to put a little pepper in here. When she's not giving tours, Terry's in her kitchen showing people how to prepare wholesome meals. I call this method of preparing a dish dump and stir. We just to have the classes and to show people this is really quite easy and to take them to the store and say, remember that kale I was talking about? Here it is. Okay, so this next recipe is a great way to get orange vegetables into children or your husband. Kathleen Morency has been coming to Terry's Kitchen for four years. So these are some dried apricots. There's always something I learn new about the value of an ingredient or um, where to purchase something or the combination of the foods. Parsley is a great blood purifier. Among her clients, the regulars, some first timers and her mother. I think of Terry as a healer because she kind of puts the whole thing together. Terry's mom is also her mentor, a major creative force behind the cookbook Clean Food, which Terry self-published in 2007 after her clients encouraged her to combine all those healthy recipes under one cover. The butternut squash I did over the weekend. How did you select what you were going to put in this cookbook? I mean, from nine years of classes, that had to be difficult. It was really important for me that these would be the foods that were easy to make, delicious for the whole family, and pack a really heavy nutritional punch. Variety of whole grains, dark leafy greens, legumes, nuts and seeds, and what to do with them. How to get the sugar out and keep the taste in. And I love the artwork. The colorful cookbook caught the eye of a major publisher, which will distribute it internationally this fall. Did you ever think it would get to this point? Never in my wildest dreams, but it's been so fulfilling. And now, the best part. <laughs> mm, wow, they're delicious. And what's on Terry's table has everything to do with what's in season, a concept that's catching on globally with the growth of the so-called locavore and slow food movements that promote eating locally. When you're close to the source, it's foods that are grown in your backyard, you know, maybe on your windowsill, at a local farm. On Friday afternoons, you'll find Terry walking through Urban Oaks' bountiful greenhouses in downtown New Britain. So that's the curly kale. Yeah. This is pole Robbie. Mm -hmm. So the bulb is underneath. This is mm -hmm. our lost not a kale. This is what we eat today in the kitchen. Right. Right. Eating produce from your own garden or a local grower cuts back dramatically on your carbon footprint. Most of the produce in grocery stores travels more than 1,500 miles to get there, not to mention the energy wasted to package and refrigerate it. Does that make sense? I go to the farm every week, and one of my favorite things at the farm is I don't even look at the produce first. I go straight to the farmer and I say, hey, Mike, what, did you, what, what are you eating this week? 
chances are what's on his menu will be on Terry's too. And as for eating close to the source, it doesn't get much closer than this. Okay, I'm gonna eat this dirt and all. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> it's organic. It needs wine. <laughs> for Treading Lightly, I'm Christina DeFranco.